all the orbitals energy will be lifted then these as a ligand come closer these orbitals face more repulsion so its energy will be lifted compared to the average energy these orbitals x y x z and, and y z these orbitals x y x z and y z face less repulsions so their energy will be reduced compared to the average energy that is what this o denotes octahedral splitting this phi d orbitals energy lifted it is splitted into t2g three orbitals the lower energy orbitals are called t2g the higher energy orbitals these are dx square minus y square and dz square are called eg orbitals which are having higher energy these three orbitals dxy dxz and dyz orbitals are called eg t2g orbitals which are having lower energy this o denotes octahedral splitting this is a sure shot question in your examination similar way tetrahedral complex you see the ligand approaches in a tetrahedra from see here in a tetrahedra not from the axis suppose this is a metal ligand approaches not from the axis these are the axes the ligand approaches in between the axis due to the geometry of tetrahedra the ligand approaches the central metal ion not along the axis but from in between the axis like this it approaches so which orbital has to face more repulsion the orbitals lying in between the axis will face more repulsion which are lying along the axis will face less repulsion so the diagram get reversed you can see t2g has gone up because it is lying in between the axis face more repulsion here it has gone down eg has it got reversed it has gone down but the splitting gap the crystal field splitting gap or sp uh, the splitting energy is small in the case of tetrahedral uh, complexes where in octahedral complexes it is high the last content which i have to tell you is when we fill the electrons in tetrahedral and octahedral complexes when the electrons are filled in d orbitals this energy gap if it is very high suppose there are five electrons to be filled first three electrons will come here one two three the fourth electron will go where children the fourth electron will go either here or it will pair here either the fourth electron will go up or it will pair here there is an energy called pairing energy the energy needed for pairing the electron that pairing energy p if it is very high p is greater than delta o pairing energy means energy needed for pairing is higher value the energy gap is small so naturally what will happen the electron will go up pairing energy is high so pairing will not take place it will go up naturally so you will have the configuration there are five electrons three electrons here two electrons here highly paramagnetic compound results these are spin free complexes is it clear to you that is case 1 case 2 you see the pairing energy is small the energy gap is high this happens in some complexes that case what happens pairing energy is too high so it cannot be paired here i mean too small so it can be paired here the pairing energy is too small so 1 2 3 4th electron come here 5th come here this orbital will eg level will remain empty so that you will get a spin paired ya diamagnetic complexes in tetrahedral complex this delta t the crystal field splitting gap is very small pairing energy is more so naturally what will happen electrons will be singly occupied 1 2 3 4 5 so you will have always a high spin complex in tetrahedral compounds tetrahedral compounds always will have wherever there is crystal field splitting the complexes will be high spin or spin free or we call it as paramagnetic complexes hope you understood the color also can be explained by this way when electrons are here electrons absorb any radiation from the in the electromagnetic spectrum or visible spectrum jump from this d to this d 
when the electron come back it emit the color it emit the color with which it is absorbed so the transition metal complexes are colored due to dd transition from this t to this d thus with this i am concluding the chapter you need to do the textbook exercise 9.16 9.19 23 24 on page number 259 hope you understood coordination compounds all the best children this is indu nair signing off uh, all the best for your board examination thank you